So this is activity two, it's called Fishing for the Future. It's about sustainability and the tragedy of the commons. So these are the materials you'll need. Each person will need one cup. Each group will need one aluminum dish, one spoon, skewers for each person. Um, each person will need one of these fishing logs and a dry erase marker. And then each group will need bags of turquoise pony beads and white pony beads. All right, so first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is talk to the group about sustainability. So you'll ask them, what do you think that means? Um, what does it mean to be sustainable? And they'll give you a bunch of ideas. You can write those on a board or write them on a poster board, something like that. And then you'll split them up into groups again, and then they'll go off and start with their game setup. So the first thing they're gonna do is they're gonna set up their ocean. So the, the tree is an ocean, and then each of the beads is a fish. So they're gonna to wanna to put 20 of the blue or turquoise beads in there, and then 10 of the white ones. And so that represents different types of fish. So the turquoise are the most common type of fish. Those will be a little bit less expensive. And then the white are the more expensive types of fish, the more rare fish. Um, so what they're gonna do is each person is a fisherman or a fisher, whatever you wanna call it. And they are trying to fish to survive. So they each use one of these skewers. This is their fishing rod. And, they're, and what they do is when the tide starts, they'll each go into the ocean and try to pick up as many fish as they want. Um, the rule is they have to get at least two points every round to survive. So you can either get two points by getting one white, that's two points, or you can get two of the blue ones, and that's two points. And so I like to use 45 seconds as a good fishing season length, but you can do whatever you, whatever you want, whatever's appropriate for your group. Um, so each student will have that 45 seconds, they'll get all their points, they'll put it in their boat, and then at the end they'll count up all of their points and they'll write it in their fishing log. These are laminated so you can reuse them, but if you use a dry erase marker. Um, so what they do is they'll write how many normal value fish they caught, that's the blue, and how many of the white they caught, that's the, that's the high value fish, and then the total number of points they got. And then as a group, they'll look in their ocean and see how many they have left. And they'll do that for two rounds. And then they write a brief description of the status of their fishery. So normally what happens is um, the first two rounds go very smoothly and that they all get a lot of points. But then they'll discover that they don't have a ton of fish left usually. And so they'll have to come up with some sort of plan to figure that out. So after each round, you look in the fishery and then you duplicate all of the fish because they reproduce. But what I like to do is I don't tell them that the first round just to see like what will happen. Um, so they'll fish, get all their points, duplicate it, do another round, answer their question, and then they'll keep going. Um, a lot of times what will happen is one group will run out of fish very quickly. So what I do is I go over to them and I'm like, what do you what, what do you think will happen if that happened in real life? If you ran out of fish in your pond, where would you go? What would you do? And then they'll say, we would go somewhere else. So they go to a different pond, a different lake, they join in, and then they'll keep playing until either all the, till either a lot of groups achieve sustainable fishing or all the groups run out of fish. Um, so, at the, so after all that, what we do is we bring everyone back together and we talk about it. So we say, what, what happened when you ran out of fish? How did you feel? Um, what happened when a, a bunch of people came over to your pond? Um, what would you do to make sustainable fishing possible? What would you do to prevent running out of fish? And so they come up with the rules and a plan. And then if there's time at the end, they can go back and play again using their rules. And then we can talk about how you can sustain fishing and how and why that is important.